Welcome to the Puppet Management TV show. We're Group 8, the... Puppeteers. We're Sophia, Annalisa, Derek, Tim, and Granny. We really hope that you enjoy the show. So this television show is going to target the following management concepts. It's going to highlight the importance of ethical decision making and the social responsibility of managers as owners. It's also going to differentiate between the two types of powers in management while also displaying the conflicts created in a business partnership. So what's the target audience? Yeah, so the target audience is going to be anyone between the ages of 18 and 30 that are trying to learn about management and the difficulties involved in creating a new business. Now the neat thing is that since this is a spinoff from a children's movie, it's also acceptable entertainment for kids ages 5 through 13. So the summary is that Ratatouille is a brand new restaurant in Paris, France that is trying to become the next big thing, despite some ethical challenges. Yeah, the plot for our show uh, focuses on the trials and challenges of this new restaurant. There's different personalities and also strong competition. The t decisions need to be made in an ethical way that benefits the business. The following are the characters for our TV show. The first one we have Linguini. Even though he lacks knowledge of cooking and managing, he has good intentions. Even though he's very impulsive, he, instead of thinking things through, he usually responds with his just his gut reaction. Now we have Colette. Even though Colette and Linguini are in a happy relationship, they see each other as just co-workers during business hours. She actually helps in all of the decisional roles of a manager and is the head of financial decision maker. Now we got Skinner, the jerk. Skinner tends to operate almost outside of the law with finding as many loopholes as he can. Aside of being a big jerk, he's also a competitor. Now we have Anton Ego. He is a friend and a stakeholder in the restaurant business. Now we have Remy. He is a thinker. Not only is he very open-minded and a talented cook, he is a character that likes to go over everything and collectively make decisions. We're now going to demonstrate the concept for our TV show. This is displaying the process of group decision making. Linguini is having doubts when it comes to an issue at work. He chooses to discuss this with a problem with members of his group. Unsure what his solution may be, Linguini takes some time with his decision. Now, this scenario is really important for our TV show because poor judgments, as we discussed in class, uh, poor judgment regarding social responsibilities and lapses in ethical decision can have a huge impact on a brand. And so as a manager, we need to be able to make sound ethical decisions and also encourage our subordinates to do the same. So in this scenario, we're gonna show the collaboration of Linguini with members of his group and understanding the negative and positive outcomes of each decisions, decision. And we're going to demonstrate the actions needed for an ethical decision using different types of alternatives. displaying the forces of our organizational change. Linguini and Remy are not having enough customers to meet the goals. In fact, they are losing their customers. With Skinner, the new head of Russia, they find a new competitor who's actually been selling new recipes. This calls for a change in security managers. And this is really important because uh, on episode two, uh, what this demonstrates is that the actions of competitor as an external force has a major impact in internal organizational changes. An example is that change that occurs regarding security enforcement in order to improve the organization. So what's the general conclusion to Ratatouille? Well, you know what we found that it's very important uh, for us to, in order to run a successful organization that we have the right technical, interpersonal, and conceptual skills um, displayed uh, constantly. Yeah, absolutely. You know, those technical skills are very important. Uh, in order to run the business with the latest technology, 
because this is what's going to create efficiency and create security. Conceptual skills are also very important because it allows the business owner, the manager to plan for the future. And if you don't have that, then you can't create the concepts that will allow you to move your business forward. Well, yes, I agree. Yeah, that's definitely a necessity. But don't forget, it's an interpersonal skills is just as important. We need to consider each other's time and be open to sharing, listening to new ideas, and establishing a good platform in which everyone felt comfortable enough to communicate. Yeah, it's great. Um, you're absolutely right that interpersonal skills are very important. And the great thing is with interpersonal skills, as we improve on these and hone those talents, we can learn, take those lessons and apply it to any real world scenario, not just a business environment. Um, it possesses important information that allows us to make a good business decision, evaluate each action, and maximize uh, the efforts in everything that we do. Now, this is all about us. This is our reflection. This is from Annalisa. This was a very interesting project, and there were really helpful individuals when it came to working as a team. As a person, I have learned about great communication skills and different conflicts that occur in an organization. Yeah, and from Derek, he said, I found the communication was very important when completing a large project like this one. Using a group text, conference calls, and in-person meetup sessions, our team was able to effectively complete each assignment. Now, this is from Sophia. I really believe this project taught everyone how to communicate in different forms. It brought everyone together at a critical time. It's taught me how to manage my time efficiently, balance out personal work and schoolwork. So far, this team has been very successful and each assignment teaches something different about the real world and the people you might be working with in the future. We're not done yet. This is from Granny. I love that this project has given us the opportunity to showcase the skills and the concepts that we are learning about in the class. The puppeteers have fostered an environment that has allowed each of us to be productive members and have learned so much about effectively working as a team from being a part of this group. And the next uh, reflection is for, from Tim Candelario. Uh, this project is about working in a team environment. And it's not just about one person or someone else, it's about utilizing every single member. You know, I can totally see the benefits of, benefits of this project in a real life management scenarios. So let's look at the overall team reflection. So this is our group reflection. You know, thank you for the opportunity to learn management in a new and interesting way. And honestly, this project is to be taken very seriously because it truly mirrors the experiences of the real world. It's really made a difference in how much information we were able to grab as individuals and as groups. We hope that we can expand our knowledge and management over time and use it to our advantage. This is a brilliant way of letting us collaborate as a group and demonstrate our abilities through an innovative project. You know, it's also really shocking how easy it is to work efficiently with people you've never met. It may be weird at first, but if everyone is willing to do it, it can just be as fun and as easy as that. Hey, don't go anywhere yet. We have a few recommendations for you. And you know, these recommendations are great. So do yourself a huge favor and follow these uh, recommendations because this will allow you to hit the ground running from day one. And remember, this is not the hardest class, but at the same time, you simply cannot fall behind. The first recommendation is... Communicate with every project in advance. Make sure that everyone has a chance to make the suggestion. Yeah, and you know what? It's important to assign roles prior to each task. Breaking down the workload makes things go smoothly. Be creative, don't be boring. Use different resources to make each project unique and appealing to everyone. Hey, and always manage your time wisely. Coordinate and do not leave work for the last minute because we know what happens when you leave things for the last minute. 
So now that we're done with the presentation, we're just going to have a frank and honest conversation with you. And it's going to be quick, but we can't tell you enough the importance of meeting face to face. It allows you to use everyone's strength, uh, much more so than you can uh, via electronic communication, although that's still very important for the project. Just have fun. Get to know everybody in your group. The funner it is, the easier the project is. Really take advantage of this opportunity to expand your horizon. This is a great class that teaches you just about everything you need to know about a business and the real world.